So if you have switched to the latest version of Rails, you might have noticed that it's not showing the delete confirmation dialog before you delete an item. In this video, we'll use stimulus to add that confirmation dialog back. So here's a simple Rails application that I have created that shows a list of books. If we take a look at the code behind that, the HTML might look complicated, but there's not much to it. It's mostly Tailwind classes that I've added to style the application. But basically, we are looping over the bunch of books and we are displaying their title, author, bunch of links, and the summary. So to show the problem, if I just try to delete a book right now, Rails just deletes it without showing any confirmation prompt. And the way I had implemented it was just adding method delete and uh, just having a button. So uh, let's try to show the confirmation prompt using stimulus. So the first step for that is just to find a parent HTML tag and adding a data controller attribute on it. So we'll add data controller books. And the way stimulus works is it's continuously running behind the scenes and uh, monitoring for the presence of these data controller attributes on the DOM. Mm -hmm. Once it finds an attribute like this, it tries to find the file named books controller JS and it instantiates the controller that's in that file and connects this DOM element to that class instance. So uh, before we create that uh, controller class, let's, there's, uh, the second step is to add a data action attribute. So uh, stimulus uses actions to connect the DOM events to JavaScript methods. So we add the data action attribute. This tells uh, stimulus is whenever a user clicks on this button, find the books controller and call the delete method on that. So the first step was to add the data controller. Second step is to add the data action. And the third step is to add the books controller class. So I have some code here that I'll copy paste in here. So the you can see we first import the controller from stimulus. And uh, the connect method is a hook that gets fired whenever stimulus finds the data controller attribute and uh, connects it to the our class. And this element refers to this dev element here. And in, here's the delete method that was called by our action. And uh, we just show a JavaScript confirm, a confirm dialog. And if, they select, if the user selects cancel, we just call prevent default on that event. So event is the click event here. And we just call prevent default to stop um, the default behavior of that uh, link. And we, we don't do anything. So with that, let's uh, reload the page. And if I click delete now, you can see um, stimulus shows the confirmation prompt and let's click cancel and it doesn't do anything. Um, if you want to see the connect method firing, let's um, let's open the sources and go to the books controller class and if I put a breakpoint here and reload the page, It will hit our breakpoint and you can see the element is the div that we added our data controller attribute to. And uh, let's continue that. And if we put a breakpoint here and click delete, it hits this uh, stimulus calls this delete method and we can execute our custom logic in there. So that's how you, you can use stimulus to show a confirmation prompt before deleting an item. And that was just a simple example, but you can use stimulus for much more complicated actions. 
and uh, it's a really nice framework from Basecamp that it follows uh, conventional st so stimulus follows convention over configuration and you just need to follow some uh, basic conventions uh, in naming your attributes and actions and stimulus takes care of the rest so I hope that helped and uh, if you have any feedback please let me know in the comments I look forward to it bye